A new lawsuit claims Norfolk is unfairly targeting poor black families with its St. Paul's redevelopment project. The city plans to tear down the existing public housing and replace it with mixed income units. 13 News Now reporter Dana Smith is live with a closer look at this lawsuit. Dana. Nicole, the lawsuit says that the city is pressuring people to move out, and if the city demolishes these housing units behind me, the lawsuit essentially says the people who live here will be forced to move from one poor black neighborhood to the next. The 52-page lawsuit charges that Norfolk has a long and indisputable history of racial segregation in housing and has perpetuated racial segregation or driven black residents out of the city altogether. It, it is kind of because they're singing us out, it is kind of racist. Last May, the Department of Housing and Urban Development awarded Norfolk's Housing Authority with $30 million towards redeveloping public housing projects in Norfolk's St. Paul's Quadrant. According to the lawsuit, it's more than 1,600 units, housing around 4,200 residents, about half are children, and virtually all of whom are black. A lot of people who live in that area did not want to appear on camera, but say, they have concerns about the city's plans. And this is places where people call homes and they don't got nowhere else to go. And they're tearing this stuff down. That's not right. The city has said existing residents will be given housing vouchers and allowed to move into the new units. But I trust them. I think they'll take care of me, the housing authority. I've been out, yeah, I've been out here for so many years. If they said they're going to do something, they're going to do it. But the lawsuit says without court intervention, the St. Paul's redevelopment plan will reduce the amount of affordable housing and could force poor black families out of the city entirely or into other segregated housing within Norfolk. The lawsuit claims the city isn't building enough housing to replace all the existing units, and it questions if the units that are being built would be affordable. The lawsuit is asking the court to stop the redevelopment plan, stop resident relocation, and to stop any planned demolition until the city and housing authority adjust their plans so residents are not adversely impacted or left without a home. Now, I did reach out to the city and the city's housing authority, and representatives there told me that they cannot comment on any ongoing litigation. I'm live in Norfolk. Dana Smith, 13 News Now.